Still waiting to find out if the state attorney's office will charge Lakeland City Commissioner Michael Dunn with murder for this shooting right here. Meanwhile, Lakeland police are now investigating a threat made in an email sent to all commissioners on Tuesday. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee joining us live outside Dunn's military surplus store with the very latest out there. Heather, what can you tell us? Well, Wendy, Lakeland police are still trying to figure out if this threat is even credible. It's why we have not seen the email address it was sent from. Regardless, you can see Dunn's store that he co-owns with someone else has been open all day with customers coming and going. A sign on the door made it clear Michael Dunn isn't looking to share his side of what happened earlier this month with reporters. I mean, everything you do is in the public eye. If you have a city position or, or anybody kind of in that kind of government seating, you are in the public eye. But for good measure, we called the store too. This is Heather with ABC Action News. We're just wondering if there's any way we can get a comment from Commissioner Dunn. We wanted to ask him about this email sent Tuesday to all the city commissioners reading, quote, bang, bang, pow, pow, Michael Dunn. We know where you live and where your kid is, too. One customer says he has no opinion on what happened here a few weeks ago, but says the threat isn't surprising. This is the culture we live in. That's a sad commentary. You can see the Lakeland City Commissioner on security camera grabbing, then shooting 50 year old Cristobal Lopez on October 3rd. Police say he was stealing a hatchet. The Lakeland Police Department is continuing to ask for patience, knowing emotions are high. Comments on Facebook reflect some people's disgust, as well as one woman I spoke to today. It was not worth it. It was not killing anybody over a hatchet. It was a way to deal with that. He could have called, he could have reported that, but it wasn't worth it. And I'm told by the state attorney's office we should have a decision sometime tomorrow afternoon. Of course, once we find out, we will let you know as well. For now, we're live in Lakeland. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.